welcome back to my channel i am sorry i have not been posting real videos for a while but i've really missed you all so in today's video i'm not going to be with my family i'm actually going to do a tutorial though you guys haven't requested this tutorial i feel like a lot of tooktubers out there really want to know oh excuse me oh my god this water is just fantastic oh excuse me oh no it's okay um, well, it's getting a bit crowded in here, so let's get on with how to make the thumbnail. So you're, want, you're going to want to be in a place that's empty. Um, I usually like to use a house, and I'm not using this house at the moment. I have my characters, Ava, and she's going to be in a working background-ish. For This will be a thumbnail for my next video. So yeah, now we're going to take some screenshots. But before we take some screenshots, I just have to put their emotions because I don't like to keep their face plain i guess for the thumbnail um yeah it took me a little while okay so i found mine it's a sarcastic one and we are going to take a screenshot of it and just crop it well like pinch and zoom i guess till it's just her with the plain background and save it and we're going to do the same to her boss, I guess, and the papers. And you can do this with anything you want in the sides and stuff. Um, and yeah. Since we're done, we have to head on to PixArt. So since now we're on PixArt, you're going to press the plus button and basically get the photo you want. Um, I have this background, which I screenshotted off camera, but you're going to press tools and press crop, which is the first one. And then go to 16 by 9 because that is the ratio for the YouTube thumbnail. And pinch and zoom however much you want. Press apply. Um, and then you're going to press FX on the bottom and press blur. And I like it at 2 usually. I'm very sorry if it's a bit fast. And then you're going to press stickers. And search up sun ray. This is how they get this one and get it to however size you want and change the opacity and now press add photo and basically add Ava in this case and I'm going to press cut out and here comes the hard part well not this part the part after and you're just going to outline it in this red um, to do this you basically press select outline Okay, so this was the hard part I'm talking about. It didn't like cut out perfectly, which is kind of the down part of this, but it doesn't always do this, I promise. Um, and I'm just going to press eraser on the bottom and I'm just gonna erase all the fuzzy like outlines. Um, it's gonna take a while, so I'll let you enjoy some music. Okay, so I just pressed saved and I'm gonna do the border. You can make it however big, however small, but I personally like mine like about this size. Um, and I'm going to pinch and zoom to make her bigger or smaller and I'm either gonna put her in the middle. I don't wanna put her in the middle because her boss might be there. I, I kind of started to doubt if I was actually gonna put her, but I decided to put her in the corner. So you're probably wondering, we did everything and borders and stuff, but what about shading? So you're going to go to the bottom. What I do is I press draw, I go to black, and I. it's very easy. You just change the opacity. If you ever want to shade and you're not using um, Pixar, or you could just go to your editing app and go to black and make the opacity a bit, you know, lighter. For the hairline, I'm not sure what to do because I haven't really made a hairline for this type of hair, so I'm just going to go with the classic arch. Okay, so we did her face shading, now it's time for highlights, and this is a new style I've never done before. It's when you make a tiny, like, little, I guess, dots on their hair. You can find this in It's Tokamimis or Simply Toka's front covers. I don't know how to do them, so don't judge me. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm just going to try doing them in random locations. <laughs> Till they look decent, I guess. And then I'm going to go over with a um, thinner, like, bigger line, I guess. This is my usual style, but um, I'm going to try combining both and see what happens. I don't know if I'll do this for my next ones because it's a bit weird. So 
So I just shaded her outfit and I'm just going to shade her computer and I'm also going to shade her latte or milkshake or whatever it is and I really need to speed up because we're already 8 minutes in. <laughs> Okay, so this is the easy part. Go on stickers and search up speech bubble and you'll find all of these like speech bubbles. Don't worry about the writing, just about the size. And I wanna pick the shaded one for the first one. And you can resize it and put it wherever you'd like. I picked Karma for the next one. I usually pick it and you're gonna make it smaller. You can turn it around still do not worry about the writing because it will be gone by the end of this so press draw and press ink dropper and then select the color and just color it out the words out it'll be the exact same color when you match a color and it's actually very very easy so i think we're done with pixar for now and we can move on to fonto okay so this is the really easy part on fonto all you do is not much editing, it's just writing down what you want and choosing your font. So down there on the bottom, there's a camera icon, click it and press photo albums. This is um, basically where your photos will be. And since we saved the photo from Pixar, it'll be in your photo albums. Once you find it, just press done. Okay, so tap the screen and it'll say add text. Tap that and just write basically whatever you want. In this case, since it's like a work background, I'm going to be writing like come to work with me. So now you want to learn how to make it gradient. Press dial, press stroke. First, I'm going to make a black outline. And then when you're done, go to the bottom and press create color pattern. Now click character by character and you can choose the gradient you want. After that, I'm working on my placement for my fonts and it's so easy. I don't think I need to show this part, but yeah, I'm adding symbols right now. Some smiley faces, flowers and stars. Once you finish that, um, just press uh, the square with the arrow and save it. And that's it. I'm so glad you guys had a chance to watch my video and I'm kind of new at this voice editing thing so forgive me. But I do want to apologize if it was too long. I'm so sorry. I really tried my best. Anyways, love you all.